Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to my daily Arabic vocabularies. I am Mudaris Sulaiman Ali. Happy listening. Fi'ilun madin past tense. Fi'ilun madin past participle. Fi'ilun madin. This is a form of verb in Arabic that we can use to talk about an action completed by us in the past. So how do you change the verb kawa to suit the following pronouns? I repeat. So how do you change the verb kawa to suit the pronouns below? Kawa simply means he has iron or he ironed. He in Arabic is huwa, which is the opposite of he, she. So how do we now change the verb kawa to suit the following pronouns. Wahid, number one. Anna, I. So how do we change the verb kawa to suit Anna? All you need to do is to attach ta'un, carrying dumma, to the last letter. Not only that, you give sukun to the letter before it. The verb kawa will now become kawaitu, which means I have iron. So you may ask me, what part of the verb that represents me? As the person speaking about himself, it is to being attached to the verb as indicated in red color. If none, number two, nahnu, we. So, how do we change the verb kawa to suit nahanu? All you need to do is to attach na to the last letter. That is step one. Step two, you give sukun to the letter before it. The verb kawa will now become kawaina, which means we have iron or we ironed. So you may ask me, what part of the verb that means we? It is na as indicated in red color. Falafa, number three. Anta, you. This term is only applicable to a male person in Arabic. So how do we change the verb kawa to suit anta? All you need to do is to attach ta, karim fataha, to the last letter of the verb. Then you skun the letter before it. The verb kawa will now become kawaita which means you have iron. Arba, number four, anti, you. This term is only applicable to a single female person in Arabic that we are talking to directly. So how do we now change the verb kawa to suit anti? All you need to do is to attach ta'un, karen kasra, to the last letter. That is step one. Step two, you give sukun to the letter before it. The verb kawa will now become kawaiti, which means you have iron. Hamsa, number five, here, she. So how do we change the verb kawa to suit here? All you need to do is to attach ta'un karin sukun to the last letter. So the verb kawa will now become kawat. So you may ask me, there was yaun in kawa, but in the case of kawat, the yaun has been omitted. What led to that? So remember I told us in the previous lessons that two letters Karin sukun will never meet at the same time in Arabic language. We must do something to avoid that. So the yaun was karin sukun, and this taun is also karin sukun. So what do we do to avoid that? We cancel the ya so as to avoid two letters karin sukun meeting at the same time. La Allah fahimt. I hope you understand. Masha Allah. So al istimal. Now the usage. The usage as past participle. Wahid number one. Mother فعل Khalid? What has Khalid done? Now the answer. Kawa Khalidun Kamisa. Kawa Khalidun Kamisahu. Khalid has ironed his shirt. Ithnan number two. Mother فعل Zainab? What has Zainab done? Now the answer. Kawa Zainab Thawbaha. Zainab has ironed her cloth. Thalatha number three. Maza fa'alta, ya ahi. Maza fa'alta, what have you done? Ya ahi, my brother. Now the answer. Kawaitu sirwali. Kawaitu sirwali. Kawaitu. I have iron sirwali my trouser. La Allah ka fahimt. I hope you understand. Masha Allah. Arba number four. Maza fa'alti, ya okti. Maza fa'alti, what have you done? Ya okti, my sister. Now the answer. Kawaitu al hijaba. Kawaitul hijab, I have ironed the veil. Kawaitul hijab, I have ironed the veil. Hamsa number five. 
Tuma? What have you both done? A talking to Hashim and Khalid. Now the answer. Kawain al Kumsana. Kawain al Kumsan. We have ironed the shirt. So Kumsan is the plural form of Kamis. Kamisun one shirt. Kumsan more than two shirt. La Allah ka fahimt. I hope you understand. Masha Allah. Sita number six. Maza fa'altum. What have you all done? Ya ikhwa. Brothers. Now the answer. Kawaina sarawil. Kawaina sarawil. We have ironed the trousers. Sarawil is the plural form of sirwal. Sirwalun one trouser. Sarawil more than two trousers from third upward. Sirwal mufrad. Sarawil jamu. Sabwa number seven. Maza fa'altunna. What have you all done? Ya ahawat. Sisters. La Allah ka fahimt. I hope you, you understand. Masha Allah. Now the answer. Kawaina sitar. Kawaina sitaro. We have iron sitaro, the cotton. We have iron, the cotton. La Allah ka fahimt. I hope you understand. Masha Allah. Now we are going to discuss how to use some certain words in Arabic. Or how to change some certain words in Arabic so as to indicate ownership. Wahid, number one. Ana, I. So how do we change the word al-kalansuwa? Al-kalansuwa to means the cup. So how do we change it? So as to indicate ownership, to suit Anna. So as to indicate ownership. Step one, you drop Alif and Lam. Step two, you attach year onto the last letter. Al-kalansuwa to will now become kalansuwa T, which means my cup. Ithnan, number two. Nahnu, we. So how do we change? The word al-mindil, handkerchief, al-mindil, the handkerchief, to suit nahanu, we, so as to indicate ownership. All you need to do is to drop elephant and lamb. That is step one. So step two, you attach na to the last letter. Al-mindil will now become mindiluna, mindiluna, which means our handkerchief. Thalatha, number three, anta, you. So how do we change the word al-kalansuwa to? To suit anta so as to indicate ownership. Step one, you detach elephant and lamb. Step two, you attach kafun, carrying fata to the last letter. Al kalansuwa to will now become kalansuwa to ka, which means your calf. Arba a number four, anti you. So how do we change the word mindil, a mindilun, a to suit anti, so as to indicate ownership? All you need to do is to drop one of the two dhamma. Appearing on the last letter. Step two, you attach kafun, carrying kasra, to the last letter. Mindilun will now become mindiluki, which means your handkerchief. You can only use this to talk to a single female person in Arabic. La Allah ka fahimt. I hope you understand. Masha Allah. Hamsa, number five. Hua, he. So, how do we change the word kalan suwatun, which means a cup? Kalan suwatun, a cup to suit hua in order to indicate ownership all you need to do is to drop one of the two dhammas appearing on the last letter that is step one step two you attach haun carrying dhamma to the last letter kolan suwatun will now become kolan suwatuhu which means his cup sitta number six here she so how do we change the word mindilun to suit here so as to indicate ownership all you need to do is to drop one of the two dhammas on the last letter then you attach ha to the last letter so mindilun will now become mindiluha which means ha handkerchief la allah ka fahimt i hope you understand masha allah mufradun singular muthanna dual jamu plural mufrad this is a word in arabic that represent only one muthanna dual this is a word in arabic that means only two Jamu, plural. This is a word in Arabic that represents more than two from third upward. Wahid, number one. Kolansua. Kolansua, a cup. Kolansuatan, two cups. Kolanis, more than two cups from third upward. La Allah ka fahint. I hope you understand. Masha Allah. Mufraj, singular. Muthanna, dual. Jamu, plural. Mindil, one handkerchief. Mindilan, two handkerchiefs. 
manadil more than two handkerchief from three upward now we are going to learn how to make use of those words in a meaningful sentence wahid number one liman hadha limindil liman hadha limindil whose handkerchief is this now the answer hadha mindili hadha mindili this is my handkerchief liman hadhihi alqalansuwa liman hadhihi alqalansuwa whose cup is this now the answer hadhihi qalansuwatuhu hadhihi qalansuwatuhu this is his cup arba number 4 a hadha mindiluk a hadha mindiluk is this your handkerchief now the answer naam yes hadha mindili this is my handkerchief hadha mindili this is my handkerchief la allah ka fahimt i hope you understand masha allah Subhanak Allahumma bihamdik ashhadu an la ilaha illa ant astaghfiruka wa atubu ilaik do not forget to go to the classroom it take your lesson watching a single video clip and revise it using the pdf file below it ma'as salama wa ila liqa'in akhar